friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis the microscope being used is leica 690 and to this microscope omni glow has been attached that's why we are getting a beautiful uh, red glow the fake machine being used is Oatly Cataract Easy from Switzerland. By this time, the main incision has been made, and this is the side port on the left side of the main incision, about three o'clock hours away. And now, capsulorexis is to be done. Uh, Uterator forceps is being used to do the rexis. The anti capsule is torn, a capsular tag is raised by the tip of the iterator, the capsular tag is held, it is guided, and here at seven o'clock it went to periphery. Could bring it back easily and a continuous carvilinear capsulorexis has been done. And now hydro dissection. BSS is passed just under the anticapsular rim after expressing out some visco from the anterior chamber. Now the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. And now is the time to go into the eye with the FECO handpiece. The tip of the FECO needle has to be adjusted the exposed part and the irrigation should come from the sides and now the fecondidal goes in with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed then the handpiece is turned and the bevel is made towards the cornea and now direct chop it is very easy to chop these cataracts of grade 3 nucleus sclerosis we just have to bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus hold it very nicely and use the chopper to chop it into fragments no need of any making any trench in such cases. Now each nuclear fragment is emulsified. The setting in this case is 60, 40, 400. 60 percent ultrasonic energy, 40 ml per minute flow rate and 400 millimeter of mercury vacuum nucleus and epinucleus is managed and now the handpiece is removed from the anterior chamber 2% SPMC is injected at this time to fill up the anterior chamber it has got two purposes one is to protect the corneal endothelium and the other one is to maintain the anterior chamber depth when we are aspirating with this Simco cannula. The, uh, the visco comes out gradually and it maintains the depth of the anterior chamber and now the rest of the cortex, subincisional cortex can be removed from the going through the sideboard. This is a 23G Simco. Only one side port has been made, and the width of the side port is about 1.6 or 1.7 millimeter. And now this is hydro polish. Some cells sticking to the corneal, sticking to the posterior capsule, is removed. 
some lens cells, lens epithelial cells. And now the main wound is enlarged a little bit because I'm going to in use a B cartridge for implantation of the intraocular lens. And this is the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophilic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Appasami Associates. This is NASPRO. It is a spheric lens and it is a very beautiful lens. No financial interest of mine in any products mentioned in this video. And now we are done. We just have to do some final steps. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS. As the stroma becomes thick, the lips of the wound get opposed to each other and the opening closes. Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed. Irrigation and aspiration of the capsular bag is also done and the antechamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded. We just have to check the integrity of the wounds before we remove the speculum. Few drops of moxie is also applied over the ocular surface and then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. This is a real-time video. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical skills.